Minnesota is rich with history, but preserving it is no easy task. Thanks to the Legacy Amendment, historical societies across the state are getting a helping hand. CBS 3's Kendall Jarbo shares how recent funding is bolstering efforts to preserve an historic landmark in the Northland. People who arrive here just have kind of that fixture of place and can feel that history come alive when seeing historic properties. The Duluth and Iron Range Depot in Two Harbors was built more than 100 years ago, standing the test of time, welcoming many to the North Shore. Fortunately, the platform has remained virtually unchanged since 1907 when it was constructed, um, but it's just really been a fixture of the Two Harbors community since then. Hoping to preserve the depot, the Lake County Historical Society just received a $10,000 grant from the state. With it, they'll hire an architect to assess the building's condition. Uh, this is one of the larger scale projects that is part of our mission to uh, collect, preserve, and share the history of Lake County, Minnesota. The depot used to house the headquarters and corporate offices of the Duluth and Iron Range Railroad, earning itself a spot on the National Register of Historical Places. Today, it serves as a history museum. The legacy grant comes from the Minnesota Historical Society, financially supporting projects focused on history and culture. We want to preserve our past, not only for us and what we can glean from it, but for future generations to know that in 100 years, what was important to us to preserve from a past 100 years, now, and stuff like that, so they can look back in their vision and see what was important. Legacy grants are competitive, and Minnesota is one of the few states to offer them. Yeah, it's definitely important to me, uh, not only to uh, our institution, but other smaller historical societies. Preserving the building now so it can be enjoyed for generations to come. The depot is currently open on Saturdays. In Cook County, the Gunflint Trail Historical Society also received a legacy grant this cycle. They'll get just under $10,000 to hire someone to review the museum's collections. 